Hi! Welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I am going to share with you my Raspberry Pi Pico W MQTT BMP BME 280 Weather Station Dashboard that displays its sensor readings through MQTT or MQ Telemetry Transport. We're going to publish MQTT messages to our broker using our Raspberry Pi Pico W microcontroller boards and display the sensor readings in a custom dashboard that will show it in both text and graphical format. As you can see in here, I have here my Raspberry Pi Pico W board with my BMP BME 280 sensor attached to it. And I have here my custom MQTT dashboard built using Node.js and Express Web Framework that displays the sensor readings from my BMP and BME 280 sensor. Also, in the background here is my Mosquito MQTT broker acting as my middleman between my MQTT clients, my Raspberry Pi Pico W components regularly publish MQTT messages to a certain topic containing the sensor readings coming from my BME280. My custom dashboard at the same time is subscribed to the same topic and displays it through this dashboard by using MQTT over WebSocket. The top of my dashboard contains the insights into my sensor readings and it displays the temperature, humidity, pressure, and the approximate altitude coming from my BME280 sensor. The historical charts below displays the last 12 readings while the gauge chart on the right hand side of my screen compares my current readings to a desired gauge. If it exceeds a certain threshold, like this temperature where I have set 30 degree as my threshold value. And as you can see, the value is 28.4, so it is up by minus 1.6 from 30 degrees Celsius. If I touch my BMP, BME280 sensor here with my in index finger, then I am expecting the temperature to go up. So let's check it. The current temperature right now is 28.4. If I try touching the sensor with my index, index finger, then you would notice that the temperature has changed. So right now, it is now at 30.1 degrees Celsius. 30.3 and 30.4. If I remove my finger, then I am expecting the temperature to go down. So as you can see, the temperature did went down as shown by this gauge chart and also by this historical chart below. If you want to see the MQTT messages coming from my Raspberry Pi Pico W board, then you can check out this shell terminal of my Mosquito board and you would notice that it is continually receiving messages coming from my Raspberry Pi Pico W board. Would you like to know how I did this? Then let's start exploring. Before we proceed further, let us discuss first the overall design of my Raspberry Pi Pico W MicroPython MQTT BMP BME280 Weather Station Project. The image above is how the overall message flows between the different components in our system. These are the major components of this project. I have here my MQTT broker, which is the mosquito, and it acts as the middleman in the message exchange. It is the one that facilitates the processing of incoming MQTT messages and delivers it the in intended receivers. The Raspberry Pi Pico W and my BMP BME280 
the MQTT client that is the source of our information or the publisher. The Raspberry Pi PicoW regularly publish the sensor readings as MQTT messages to our broker using the topic sensor readings. And inside it, it's a message that contains the readings from our BME 280 sensor. The application was built using MicroPython framework using the Tony IDE. The dashboard application is another MQTT client and it serves as the subscriber of our messages coming from the Raspberry Pi Pico W. This MQTT dashboard is subscribed to the same topic which is sensor readings and it displays the MQTT messages as text and colorful wraps for better usability. The application was built using Node.js, HTML, CSS JavaScript, and also the MQTT.js library. With the publish and the subscribe model of MQTT, then it is possible for us to separate the code that publishes the sensor readings on a particular topic and create our own dashboard that is that subscribed to the same topic and display its readings. All the clients in our MQTT broker do not need to know each other, making this setup very much ideal in the Internet of Things projects. For the wiring, I use my Raspberry Pi Pico W microcontroller and I am using the standard I2C channel 0 pins of which are GPIO0 and GPIO1 assigned as SDL and SCL and SDA pins. So much for design. So let's discuss how the code works. The dashboard application is created using Node.js with Express Framework. It is built using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and the MQTT.js library as I have mentioned before. I have a separate video on how this project works, which you can find in the description of this video. The code is available in my GitHub repository and the steps to run it is shown there also. As you can see, this is the program that is running my MQTT custom dashboard. And I am using Visual Studio Code with the Node.js. And as you can see, when you run the project uh, by following the steps in here, and you would see that it will create the following messages. And then just type in localhost 3000, and you would be able to see the MQTT dashboard running. For the micro MicroPython program that publishes the MQTT readings, then it is Available also in my GitHub repository. I have used the Tony IDE in developing this project. And our project contains the following files, which are the BME module, the boot.py, and the main.py. Let us try to walk through what each line of the code does. So, this is the project right now. It went open in Tony IDE. So let's discuss first the BME underscore module dot py. Connect with our BMT BME 280 sensor, then we will use the BME underscore module dot py file. The code in here is simple, and what we're doing is that we just import the necessary packages to read our BMP and BME 280 sensor. And in this part of the application, we create the class that will represent our BMP280 sensor. In the constructor method, we require the bus ID, the SCL pin, and the SDA pin for I2C communications. Next, we create an instance of an I2C class passing in the parameters. And then lastly, we create an instance of a BME280 using the earlier I2C class. The C level pressure HPA is used to approximate the altitude calculation. The get sensor readings in here is the method that we're going to call to retrieve the sensor readings from our BMP and BME280 sensor. The altitude calculations is an approximate calculation. As you should know, the sea level pressure at the time of pressure of 
was taken to get an accurate altitude value. The temperature, the humidity, pressure, and the altitude are coming from the BME 280 sensor by using the library MicroPython BMP B BME 280 sensor. We are returning a Python couple for all the values here, so which is the temperature bulb, pressure bulb, humidity bulb, and the altitude bulb. Next, we discuss the boot.py. The boot.py is what we use to connect to our Wi-Fi network. This file gets executed first when our Raspberry Pi Pico W gets restarted. So right here, we just import the packages needed to connect to our network. Just replace the two variables here to match the credentials of your Wi-Fi network. And the do connect here is the function that will allow us to connect our Wi-Fi network. The main.py contains the bulk logic of, on how we are going to send our BMP and BME to HCL sensor readings. So in this case, we just import the necessary packages in order for us to communicate with our MQTT broker, including our BME underscore module.py for the retrieval of sensor readings from our BMP BME to H0 sensor. We're using a library called UMQTT that's simple to initiate our connection with our MQTT broker. So these are the variables to represent the IP address or the DNS name of our MQTT broker and the unique client ID that we will generate. The subscribe topic and the publish topic are the topics that we are going to be subscribing or publishing with our MQTT broker. We are going to be publishing on the sensor readings topic together with the message that will can in the readings from our BMP and BME280 sensor. The LED subscribe topic is just to turn on or off the built-in LED of our Raspberry Pi Pico W sensor. Here is the publish interval. So we are going to be sending a, a reading every 5 seconds. And then these are the pin assignments that we will use in order to connect with our sensor. We are using the built-in hardware I2C module of our Raspberry Pi Pico. So all of the connections here are connected to the hardware I2C interface of our Pico. The sub underscore CB is our callback function for any topics that we are subscribed in. So in this case, if there are any messages coming from our broker, then we will be able to use this message, this sub underscore CB, to do any pre-processing. On the other hand, the reset function here is used to reset our MicroPython device if any error is encountered. Lastly, the get temperature reading function is used to retrieve the sensor readings by using our BME module.py file and then calling the get sensor readings. The main that function here it's the entry point of our program and it does the following. It initiates a connection to our MQTT broker by calling the MQTT client.connect method. It also sends a callback function so that this will be called whenever a new message comes from our MQTT broker. And then we can subscribe to any topic that we would like. In this case here, we're just subscribing to the LED topic. And then... In the infinite loop or in the while loop, we're using the non-blocking wait for message using the MQTT client that check message. And then, as you can see in the code in here, we read the BMP and BME sensor reading every 5 seconds and publish an MQTT message to the topic sensor reading. The message that we are sending in here is in JSON format so we're using this call to this function ujson that dumps and then we pass in the reading. We need to pass in that encode because the library requires that we are passing bytes variable bytes and not string. That really is how the code works for our project. The companion write-up of this video contains much detailed explanation of this project. 
By the way, before you can run this project, you need to install first the two libraries in here. So we have the, I'm just going to cancel, interrupt the execution. So the two libraries that require is the BME280 and then the UMQTT that simple. And then to run the project, you just need to click run in here and then stop reboot or control D. Then it will connect with our MQTT broker. And then it will begin publishing message again to our dashboard. The write up and code for this project can be found in the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!